What's going on everybody? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 20 absolutely free jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 10 all the way through to iOS 10.2. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy these tweaks. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start off with some brand new jailbreak tweaks. So first up we have Moose. This tweak will allow you to change the color of the text selection in iOS. So you go ahead and select text just like this. You can see you can change the color. So by default, it is blue, but I changed it to red in this case, as you can see right here. And this tweak also takes an effect for the cursor as well. So as you see right there, the cursor is actually red, as you see there. So to customize this, just jump over to settings, head over to Moose, the preferences panel, make sure custom color is enabled, and just select the selection color. And you can go ahead and customize it to whatever color you want. Make sure all these sliders are to the right for the fullest color. You can also use a hex number if you want to do that or if you know how to do that. But I just recommend using this because it's the easiest. And then just go ahead and respring your device to apply the changes and you'll be good to go. Next up, we have sleek notifications. This tweak will shrink the size of the banner notifications to a much smaller size so it's not going to interrupt the top part of your screen. Normally in iOS 10, they're just ridiculously large and again, it's going to interrupt your content. So if we're inside an application, just browsing around doing our thing, again, the banner notification, as you see right there, it's not going to interrupt as much of the top part of the screen. So it's just much less obtrusive. Now this tweak also is present inside the notification center, as you can see right here. It is much smaller there too. And also on the lock screen as well, as you can see here, uh, just like this. Enhanced switcher close will add various useful options to the multitasking menus. So basically how this works is you can set different things to happen when you swipe up on different cards. So you can customize what happens when you swipe up or down on the home screen card and also on the applications, but not just applications in general. You could set different things to show up when you swipe up or down on different specific applications. So let's just go ahead and start with the home screen. So if I go ahead and slide up, you'll see we will have some options. So we have respring, kill all, and relaunch all. And if I release my finger on one of these options, it would go ahead and perform. So let's go ahead and release the, our finger on uh, kill all. You can see right there, just like that, it's going to go ahead and kill everything in the app switcher. And if we swipe, slide down, we can have different options. Uh, for now, we have a launch and dismiss switcher, just like that. But again, you can see how these menus look pretty nice. I think it's a very nice design. But let's go ahead and open up some applications here again, and I'll continue showing you how this works. So uh, just a few more here. Now we go back in here, you'll see when we go ahead and drag up on applications, we have different things. So we have relaunch and close. So relaunch is actually really cool. It'll allow you to basically just to close that app and then for it to automatically open straight up as you saw there just like that. So if an application is acting weird or it's having some sort of issue or you just want to restart it for whatever reason, you can now just drag up and release your finger on relaunch and it will automatically just do everything for you. So that's a very nice feature. And of course, this is all customizable through these settings. So if we go ahead and head over to settings, we get to head over to uh, enhanced switcher close. You can enable or disable the tweak, and then you have home screen and applications. So home screen, of course, applies to the home screen card. You have swipe down actions. You have the first action, the second action, and the third action. Then you have swipe up, and again, the three actions. And if you tap into any of these, you'll be getting this subset of options. Respring, kill all applications, relaunch all applications, quick launch actions, launch, dismiss switcher. And if you go into applications, you'll be able to select, again, your specific app that you want certain things to happen with. And in here, you'll have, uh, you know, the same options that we had before, but you'll also have relaunch and close, uh, just because obviously with an application, though, those are relevant. And there's also various other options. If you head over to customize, you can really customize this to your liking, get it working the exact way you want. So a uh, very nice tweak. I just think this is a really cool idea and it's, and it's implemented very well. Once again, enhanced switcher close. Mask Me 10 allows you to filter the content of your incoming notifications. So you can filter it by the content, so basically the message, or by the title, which is basically the sender in most cases. So if we jump over to settings, we can head over to Mask Me 10 to set this up. And of course, you can enable or disable the tweak at the top. And then we have two seconds. We have Name Changer and Content Changer. So for Name Changer, basically in the first text box, just put in the name that you don't want to show up. In my case, it's Test Testing because I have a contact named Test Testing. And then but put a semicolon after it. And you could also put multiple names in there as well. So multiple things you don't want to see. Just separate them by semicolons. And then for the second text box, basically you're going to want to put what you want the text to be replaced with there. In my case, it's secret person. So just whatever you want your, uh, you know, filtered things to be replaced with. And it's the same exact concept for content changer. Just put in phrases or words, separate them by semicolons. I put in pad word. And then in the second box, put in what you want it to be replaced with. In my case, censored. So after you set everything up and made sure all the toggles that you want to be enabled are enabled, we could go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to send messages from the phone on the left to the phone on the right. And of course, the phone on the right has the tweak installed. So uh, first, we're just going to go ahead and demonstrate the 
name changer. So we're just going to send over hello, just a random message. But again, the contact is named test testing. So you can see there, it's going to replace the text with secret person, as you see there. Again, inside the notification center as well. And again, on the lock screen, anywhere, it's going to replace it accordingly. So now let's go ahead and test out the content changer. So we're going to send over bad word exactly as we had it. And you'll see there, it will say censor just like that. Now, of course, when you go ahead and actually open up the notifications, it'll go ahead and show you the, as you see there, the actual messages and the actual contact sender up at the top. But again, this is just for people who are going to be snooping over your shoulder or you just don't want them to see the notification come in. So uh, once again, this is called Mask Me 10. Very useful tweak. Widgetification X will allow you to customize your widgets and your notifications on your device to a very high degree. So if I go ahead and head over to my widgets page, you'll see that, you know, there's definitely some differences here. For one, we have this kind of square corner, flat type of look for them. Also, you notice that, you know, there's normally that show more button on some widgets, for example, weather that will, you know, increase to this different view with, you know, the hourly schedule. That's no longer there and it automatically expands. So that's an option. There's also various different transparency options. You could hide the header, you could hide the widget uh, title and the icon, which you notice are all hidden here. So you can really kind of make it minimal, change the look of it, and customize all of it to your liking. So to do that, head over to settings, jump into widgetification X. So in here we have just various different toggles. So we have the flat look for widgets and notifications. Then you could hide various things. Like I said, the widget icon, the title, always show more, which I talked about, which is convenient. You could hide the show more button if you are, you know, if you're having always show more enabled. You could completely hide the widget header as well. Now there's various different transparency options down here for widgets and notifications. Basically, as you see here, there's a key down there that tells you how to use these toggles. So different things, you know, one, two, three, four different toggles will basically, you know, apply different types of looks for it. And if we toggle on everything, it'll just go ahead and make it completely transparent, which I'll do just to show you guys, and then we'll respring. So as you see here, this is a very, very minimal, clean look. So uh, again, you could customize all this to your liking in the settings. Once again, this is called Widgetification X. Customize your widgets and your notifications. Bouncy NC10 will allow you to basically make the bounce effect when you pull down the notification center even more pronounced. So you see that little bounce effect just like that? If you want that to be even more extreme, you could go ahead and use this tweak. So if we go ahead and jump into settings, we could go over to Bouncy NC10, and you have the tweak enable switch. We go ahead and toggle that on and respring. I'll show you this. Now, there's also an additional feature that allows you to speed up the notification center process when you go ahead and pull it down, which I'll show you as well. But first, here's the bounce effect. You can see right there, it's much more pronounced just like that. So uh, you can see there, once again, it just bounces much higher, so, which is a pretty cool effect. It's just a nice little flare to your device. But let's go ahead and head over to settings, and I'll show you guys the other feature as well, which will just speed up the process so, uh, of pulling the notification center. So we'll enable that. We'll disable the first one, and we'll go ahead and respring. All right, so here's the second feature. You can see right there, just like that, as soon as we pull the notification center, boom, it's just there. So uh, very fast. You can see right there, it just snaps to the bottom immediately. So. Uh, Again, this is actually probably my favorite out of the two just because it allows access quicker. But, the, but again, again, the first one's pretty nice just because it adds that nice visual flair. Once again, this is a bouncy NC10. Can you like not will disable the passcode from appearing on every single respring immediately. So let me go ahead and respring my device here using a flip control center, a toggle in there. And you'll see, uh, normally we would get the passcode as soon as the device, you know, basically reached the lock screen. But you can see right there, it doesn't automatically go to the passcode. So I could just go ahead and scan with Touch ID, or if I did want to see the passcode, I could just click the home button. So uh, again, if you're frustrated by seeing that passcode screen every single time, this is just just a simple tweak to hide that. And again, if you have Touch ID, you're definitely not going to want that passcode screen to come up every single time. So uh, definitely a good tweak. CC No Floating Plus will remove the floating effect that Apple added to the iOS 10 control center. So basically that border around it that basically made it look like it was always floating is now gone with this tweak. And you'll see that it's now flush with the edges. It's right up against the edges of the device. Now a uh, few th things to note here. It's a little bit strange, the physics. Uh, basically when you scroll you can see there it kind of moves around. Uh, it's just a little bit more movable I guess you could say. I'm not really sure why that is. And also when you're trying to pull it you know, basically pull it down to hide it. You'll see there, you can't do it when you're swiping on the actual notification center. You have to swipe above the notification center to do that. So I'm not, I'm not really sure why, but those are just a few things to note. If we jump over to settings, we can head over to CC no floating and just enable or disable it. Here's some more tweaks. These ones aren't brand new, but of course they're still great tweaks compatible with iOS 10 through iOS 10.2. This one's called a bright vol. It allows you to change the function of the volume buttons 
back and forth between the volume like it normally is, the volume and ringer, and brightness. So after you install the tweaker, you set an activator gesture. I have mine set so when I 3D touch on the status bar, it activates. And you can see right there we get that new icon for the brightness. And then, as you see there, the buttons basically serve as the brightness control. So very, very cool tweak here. And of course, we could just do the same gesture again, and it'll switch back to volume slash ringer just like that. So very convenient tweak, great implementation, and it looks great as well. It looks very native. Now, after you install the tweak, uh, you want to make sure you jump over to Activator to set it up. Go into Anywhere and just choose a gesture. Once again, I used a Force Touch or 3D Touch on the status bar. One of my favorite tweaks. I've been using this for so many years. Roman Passcode will simply replace the passcode buttons on your lock screen with Roman numerals. So let me go ahead and show you guys here when we bring up the passcode screen. Just like that, we have these nice Roman numerals. So it's a very simple tweak, but I think it really provides a very nice effect to the lock screen. It's just something different. You know, definitely just a touch of originality to the lock screen. Once again, it's called Roman Passcode. Ghosty will remove the blur effect when you 3D touch on icons on your home screen and replace the blur effect with this dimmed effect. So it'll basically dim the icons in the background as opposed to that blurry effect. So uh, this could actually improve the performance of your device as well because sometimes that blurring could you know, slow down your device. And it's also just a nice visual refresh as well. It just changes up the way that things look. Battery Peak allows you to quickly show your battery percentage whenever you want, just on the fly with an activator gesture. So uh, if you don't want to have it always there, you know, maybe it's just too much for you. But again, you want the ability to check it. This is a perfect tweak for you. So I have it set so when I double tap on my status bar, you'll see there the battery percentage will appear just like that and then quickly disappear. So I just want to get a glance at it quickly, see what it is, and then it'll automatically hide. So a uh, very useful tweak. And again, this is for with any activator gesture. Just jump into activator, head over to anywhere, and just find your gesture. Once again, I used a double tap on the status bar right here and you just go ahead and check it off for the action of your choice uh, very useful tweak once again it's called a battery peak always first swipe allows you to bypass a feature in ios that requires you to swipe twice to access the notification center or the control center when you're in a full screen environment so let me go ahead and show you what i'm talking about here uh, if i'm inside again an environment here where it is full screen this is a video environment and when i swipe down once you see there i get that grabber then you have to swipe again to actually get into the notification center same thing with the control center you see i have that grabber and then i have to swipe again this is you know most likely intended for when you're inside a game and you don't want to accidentally invoke these when you're doing different gestures but a lot of the time most of the time i just want to you know not have to swipe twice so that's where this tweak comes into play. If we head over to settings, we could go into always first swipe, and you have two toggles, enable for the control center and enable for notification center. I'm just gonna go ahead and enable it for both. And after that, it takes an effect. So let's go ahead and test that out now. We'll jump back in here, and you'll see first swipe just like that inside the notification center, first swipe in the control center just like that. So uh, very simple tweak, but very useful. Once again, it's called always first swipe. Here's smooth cursor. It'll basically make the cursor when you're typing smoothly move across just like this. So you see there how it's not jumping from one letter to the next, how it's just kind of gliding across as I type. Well, that's basically what this tweak does. It's a very small effect, but I think it actually provides a really nice effect to your typing experience. It just smoothens things out, and you know I really like it. And then we also have another tweak, which is called Smooth Pop, which basically will make the keys fade when you go ahead and tap on them. You see there the pop-up keys, how they're fading away as opposed to just disappearing. It's very subtle. You might not even notice it, but you'll see there the keys do fade in a slightly more elegant, different way. So again, it's not just abruptly appearing and disappearing. They're going to go ahead and fade away this time. So uh, once again, that's Smooth Pop. Time until alarm is a very useful tweak. It will basically display the time inside the clock application, basically how long it is until a certain alarm is going to go off. So you can see right there for one, it's 23 hours, 52 minutes, because it's the next day. This one's only five minutes. This one's only two hours and 15 minutes. So this is just an incredibly useful tweak, especially you know if you want to be able to count how many hours of sleep you want to get. You could just go ahead and look right there and see basically how exactly long it is until a certain alarm is going to go off. Very useful tweak, and it's very nicely integrated right within the clock application. It looks like it belongs there. And uh, if you guys jump into settings, you can configure various things. If we head over to time until alarm, you can really customize it to your liking. Uh, once again, really awesome tweak, time until alarm. NC Pop will provide this very nice effect when you're inside an application and you go ahead and bring down the notification center. As you can see right here, as this very nice effect, the application in the background kind of pops to the back as the notification center is pulled down and when you pull it back up as you can see there it comes right back to the front with this very nice animation 
as you see here, just like that. I think it's just, again, a nice flair that it adds to your device. I really like this one. And again, it's, also, it's only going to take an effect inside of applications. And uh, after you install the tweak, make sure you head over to NC Pop inside the settings, and you can just go ahead and enable it here. There's also a scale percent, pull down percent, and fade percent if you want to customize the way that it looks to your liking. But uh, once again, NC Pop provides a very nice effect to the notification center when you're accessing it inside of apps. Slide Cut allows you to execute various different keyboard shortcuts on iOS. This is a very cool tweak. Basically, you could slide from this space bar onto various different letters to do various different things. For example, we could slide from space bar to A to select all just like that, from space to C to copy, and then we could do space to V to paste. So if I just go ahead and show you guys here, we could do space to V. Boom, it pastes it just like that. So this is incredibly cool. And if you guys want to know all of the different shortcuts that this tweak is capable of doing, just go ahead and head over to Cydia. And in the description for the tweak, as you see here, it's going to list all of the different capabilities that this tweak has. You can see right there, dragging from space onto these letters to do various different things. And you saw how easy it is to use. It's uh, very awesome. Once again, it's called a slide cut. Next, we have blurry launch. This tweak will actually provide this colorized blur effect, you know, to the color of your choice when you go ahead and launch up applications on your device, as you can see, just like this. So uh, it's basically just a different loading screen. Now, to customize that, jump over to blurry launch. And of course, you can enable or disable the tweak. And then we have blur theme. Theme. And here's the color. As you see, there's various different options to choose from. Let's go ahead and enable vibrant green, and we'll go back. Then there's blur strength, low, medium, or strong. I have it on low. Uh, then there's blur duration. So basically, how long? Obviously, I do recommend the minimum, just so it's not going to take up so much of your time. Then go ahead and respring your device, just to make sure all the pl the changes are applied. I'm going to use Flip Control Center to do that. But on now, and you see. When I launch the application, you can see right there it has that uh, green tint just like this. Uh, personally, I wouldn't really use this just because um, there's that slight delay when you open up an app. You have to wait for that blur to uh, basically go away before you could start interacting with it. But uh, it's definitely a nice visual effect. Next, we have Keyboard Echo. This tweak will allow you to easily cycle between the first two keyboards that you have set on your device. So, uh, as you see here, if I go ahead and just open up my keyboard and tap and hold on the globe icon, you can see I have multiple keyboards added. And uh, normally in iOS, when you go ahead and tap on the globe icon, it'll just go ahead and cycle through all your keyboards just like this, one after the other. Again, it'll cycle through all of them. Uh, but basically, this tweak will allow you to just cycle between, again, the first two. So if you're constantly using just two and you don't have to go through all of them every single time, this is something you're definitely going to want to check out. And basically, normally in iOS, to rearrange the keyboards, you go to Settings, General, Keyboard, and head over to Keyboards, and you can just select Edit, and you can rearrange them here. Um, so my, my first two are English and Emoji. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and install the tweak now. We're going to head over to Cydia, and here it is, Keyboard Echo. Just going to install it. All right, so now when I go ahead and go over to my keyboard, you can see if I tap and hold on the globe, I still have all my different languages and keyboards. However, when I go ahead and single tap on the globe, it's just going to switch between the first two keyboards. So for me, that's English and the emoji keyboard. And again, it works with languages too. But um, again, if you want to access the other languages, you just tap and hold, and you can just go ahead and select them that way. But again, just for the single tap is reserved for switching between the first two. So once again, this is called Keyboard Echo Convenient Tweak. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed all of these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. With that being said, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.